Finally tonight here, it's been said every car tells a story, and this one recalls the day, the moment, America lost a president. Five decades later, JFK's limousine remains one of the most powerful symbols of that day. The convertible the president and first lady were riding in through Dallas. A 1961 four-door Lincoln Continental. Big, beautiful Lincoln. Nearly 50 years after those shots rang out in Dealey Plaza, there was now near silence when people see that car, where it now sits at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. We all have images of that day burned into our, our minds, and every one of those images includes that car. It's such a, a vital and, and intimate part of, of the nation. I mean, that's where the president's life essentially ended, so people are, are really drawn to it. Perhaps one of the most historic pieces of evidence from that day was the limousine President Kennedy was riding in. What happened to it after the assassination is yet another incredible chapter in the story, as Dean Reynolds explains. To see it now is still jolting, all polished and presentable without a hint of what happened 50 Novembers ago, belatedly armored and topped and bulletproofed. The tragic Lincoln limousine at the end of the road in the Henry Ford Museum here in Dearborn, Michigan. Matt Anderson is the curator. The 50th anniversary of the assassination has really, really drawn people to that car uh, for longer periods of time than is usual. To peer into the back seat is to ponder what might have been. I just, yeah. I mean, I can just see him right there. Yeah, oh, you can, yeah. Totally picture, picture them there. And I think that's what a lot of people do when they come to visit the museum. They'll stand here and just sort of stare in that space and think about what happened. This Friday, November 22nd, is the actual anniversary of President Kennedy's assassination. And the vehicle you see here is the very limousine the president was riding in on that day in Dallas. We are gathered here tonight to reflect and remember a point in our history that forever changed a nation. This time in our history is a part of our American conscious, and it is a thread that runs through and connects all of us. So it's very important, I think, to not only remember the day, but to remember the man and what he stood for. And so November 22nd, 1963 stands out as kind of a dividing point after which many things change in this country. The moment of the assassination is frozen in time, but the car kind of reaches out to us from the past. And it's something that we can tangibly look at and hold on to today um, to think about and reflect on. So I think of this as a story of John Kennedy. This car represents what he stood for, what he believed, what his promise was, what he could have been. So I think the car should not just be an object of sadness or morbidness. It should be really an iconic symbol of his presidency because he did so many wonderful things while in this car. I'm too young to have any personal memories of the assassination, but this, this car and those images are, are no less burned into my mind. I've seen them time and time again. In, uh, documentaries, news specials in my own classes growing up and uh, I, I think for folks of my generation we really understand that this was a moment that changed the course of history. This automobile is a, a very important symbol of the president and our country in a snapshot of history and a reminder of who we were as a country, as a people at this certain time what happened and how it changed us. So I think particularly for young people for whom putting history in context and perspective is sometimes so difficult, when they can not just read something in a book or see something up on film or television, they can actually see something that was there, that was an important part of that day. I think it brings history alive and all to the good.